Hello and welcome to another video of TypeScript Pro series. In this video, we will talk about including and excluding files for our compilation, and we will see in depth how to fine tune which files are getting in for our compilation. And also we will learn how to control JS output during our compilation. Let's jump right in. We'll start with really simple TypeScript application. At this point, we have source folder with single TypeScript file in it. We have configuration file for TypeScript compiler with just one option enabled, which is output directory, dist. And if we run our, uh, our compiler in watch mode, obviously we're gonna get dist folder, which gonna have single file in it with pretty much the same information that we were, that we are having in TypeScript file. Just one JS has main function in it. Obviously in realistic application, we would have much more than one file in our project. So let's create another one, 2TS, and we will put some secondary class in it. And since our compiler is running in watch mode, we will get a second JavaScript file right away with transpiled version of secondary class. But let's say for some reason we want to exclude this file from our compilation process. What we can do inside tsconfig JSON, we can add exclude property, which will take array. This array should be an array of strings that will represent relative path to files or so-called glob file name patterns. Let's start with simple one with a relative path to the file. So let's put source slash two dot ts in it. We will manually remove distribution folder and hit control s to rerun the compiler. And this time inside of our dist folder we have just one file as we expected since we have this exclude option enabled with specific file name. As I said, this is sort of a simple way of ex excluding files. We can also use glob file name patterns, which are coming from Unix systems where we can generalize file names. Let's play around with this option a little bit. So let's imagine we have a folder inside of our source folder, which is called internal. And inside of this internal folder, we have some files. With some files that we don't want to include into our comp compiled version of code. Right now you see that it got in right away. But let's come back to our config file and this time we will do blob file name pattern here. So we will say exclude source slash internal. This time when we rerun the compiler we will see that this whole folder will be excluded from dist. I use this double asterisk symbol which means that this pattern will, will be executed recursively within the folder. With our file name patterns, we can be even more specific. We'll create another file, which will be non-secret. It's still gonna be internal, but it will have another word in its name. Let's call it spec.ts. And we will have some tests going on inside of it. Now what we can do inside of tsconfig.json, we can specify that we want to exclude files that actually have internal.ts as the last portion of the name. Now when we say we actually get in this internal folder inside of dist, but the only file that is inside is the spec file, which has some test in it. This is just an example how we can make our naming patterns more granular. As you would imagine, just like we have exclude, we can have include property. To see 
how it's gonna work, let's delete our dist folder. I learned interesting fact that TS compiler it does not remove files from any folders. It can override existing files, but it will not remove remove any old files for us. So this is just design functionality of the compiler. This time let's save and see what we are getting. Just like our configuration file states, we are getting file with name 2.ts and the secret internal file that we specified in the configuration. In more complex projects, we might want to use a combination of both exclude and include options. So let's say we are adding this include statement. We will say that we want to include the whole source folder. And now if we look closely, we will see that we are including the whole the folder. Then we want to specifically include everything inside of internal that has spec to it at the same time. We are excluding a file and excluding internal content that has internal.ts as the end portion of the file name. Let's see if this works. Okay, just as we expected, we have 2.ts excluded. We have everything that ends with internal.ts excluded, but at the same time we have .spec.ts included inside of internal folder. In addition to asterisk, we can also use question mark to specify the unknown character inside of the file name. So let's come back to this simpler version of exclude only. And we will imagine that we want to exclude all files that have three characters in the name of the file. At this moment, we expect both 1.ts and 2.ts not to be included in the folder. And since we have sort of a flat structure of our project at this point, just one folder, the internal folder itself was dropped from the compiled version of the code. There is one more option that can be used to control which files are getting into the compilation process. And this one is simply called files. It can again take an array of strings, but this time those strings, they have to be absolute or relative path to the file. We cannot use glob patterns to specify file names. So let's say we want to tell our compiler to include source slash one dot ts and we expect only this file to be included into the compiled version of our code we should also remember that if we don't specify files include or exclude properties typescript compiler by, by default will take everything that is inside of our parent directory the same directory where ts config file itself is located so if we don't specify anything everything will go into the compilation but compiler is pretty smart it's not gonna take out directory that we specified but if we don't specify out directory compiler will put compiled version of javascript right next to the file so to illustrate that let's remove it let's also remove this so we are not getting confused by it and you can see that compiled version of files are just sitting next to the original TypeScript files. Now we're gonna have to remove them manually since just like I said, compiler does not remove any files. In this video, I also wanted to cover two more compiler options. One of them is no emit option. Of course, by default, it, sets, it, it is set to false since we want to emit JavaScript files out of our compilation process, but we can set it to true and now our TypeScript compiler not gonna emit anything but still we are having uh, our type checking enabled so let's say we are trying to pass something into our function it will tell us the problem that we have but no actual JavaScript will be emitted another one which is similar to no emit is called no emit on error let's also set it to true and we will fix the error that we created here. So this time, since we don't have any problems with our TypeScript code, this folder was generated. But if we do have some problem, put back this bad input into the main function. As we see, compilation is completed, but nothing was generated, which means our files will not be overwritten with bad input. 
to illustrate that let me put back the dist folder back right now our main function is in good shape if we break it here and save after compilation 1.js was not changed to the bad version of our code so those are two more useful options for our compiler configuration Today we have learned how to control which files are getting into our compilation process of TypeScript compiler. We also learned about no emit and no emit on error options that could be useful to fine tune our compilation configuration. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share and subscribe.